Archimedes principle. It's a principle that goes way back. And it says that the buoyant force on an object equals the weight of the fluid that it displaces. Or buoyant force is the weight of the displaced fluid. What about a floating object? Well, a floating object is sitting there on the surface of the water, kind of like this. And if you think about it, the weight of the object is pushing down and the buoyant force has to be balancing that weight. So mass times gravity pushing down has to equal whatever the buoyant force is pushing up. That means that because the buoyant force is equal to the weight of the displaced fluid, the weight of the displaced fluid has to be the mass of the displaced fluid times gravity. So mass of the displaced fluid times gravity equals mass of my object times gravity, or these masses have to be equal if our object is floating. Okay, so we know these masses are equal if our object's floating. We can now try and figure out how high do things float in the water? What fraction of the object is going to be submerged? We can do that by saying, all right, the fraction that's submerged is going to be the volume that's submerged divided by the volume of the object. The volume that's submerged is equal to the volume of the fluid that we have displaced. Since density is equal to mass times volume, we can then say that that ratio of volume of the fluid over volume of the object is going to equal the ratios of their densities over masses. This gets interesting because now we can say, since this is mass of the fluid over density of the fluid, divided by mass of the object over density of the object, incorporating what we figured out before, that the mass of the fluid has to equal the mass of the object, these two masses are the same and can cancel out. That means that we can say that our fraction of our object that's going to be submerged is equal to a ratio of the densities of these object to the density of the fluid.